first question is to circle the most stable radical. And within this, I also want us to pretty much label what each type would be, like classify the radical. Oh, yeah, okay. So first off, what do you think the most stable would be? Okay, so the most stable one, it's on a scale. Mm -hmm. So the most stable that like ideally what we want is an allylic radical. Good. Which would be basically like if I were to count the double bond and it's not the carbons that are directly on it, but it'd be like one of the carbons that's like just adjacent to it. Good. And it'd be, okay, so there's two actually. It's okay. these, between these two. But then we have to look at how many like substituents there are. And that one has three. Or I guess it'd be like three or third degree. Tertiary? Tertiary. Mm -hmm. So it'd be that one. Look at you. <laughs> okay. So what you're looking at was yeah, the stability. <laughs> yeah. Stability of the radicals, which mm -hmm. you said. And you know that the most stable is going to be the one that's allylic, mm -hmm. that has a pretty much, again, it's adjacent to that double bond. You can also look at this as saying, oh, if I numbered this starting from the double bond, then it's going to be one, two, and three carbons away. Mm -hmm. So that's really the main thing is like you're going to keep hearing that, just showing that, oh, if I numbered again this one, two, and three, there's a radical. Yes, mm -hmm. that's the allylic position versus something that would have been vinyl, which is on the double bond that is not allylic, which you mm -hmm. just mentioned beautifully. Mm -hmm. That would be the least stable. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, it also depends on how substituted this is. Is it tertiary, secondary, primary, and so on? So... In this case, you said, well, considering these uh, these stability rules, which I'll place here, mm -hmm. I know that this guy here is allylic and it's tertiary. So I'm going to just label that. The most. First, I'm just going to say that it's tertiary mm -hmm. and allylic. Like this is how you would pretty much oh, like see. define what this is. Okay. And then what would this be defined as? That like, one classified. Be this one right here. Secondary. Mm -hmm. Good. And you also mentioned, yes, it's allylic because there's one, two, and three. Mm -hmm. That separation, yep, this is also allylic. How would we classify this one? This one would just be tertiary. Is that right? Because it's just on this one. So one, two, three. Good. That one would just be tertiary. And this would be primary. Let me write that. I know that's the worst. Mm -hmm. We already said that, okay, if you want to do the honors yes. of circling the right one, that's it. And of course, I, I just wanted to show the classification for each. Mm -hmm. You went right to allylic. I know that it's going to be the most substituted, which is beautiful. You do want to do this quickly on an exam. Uh -huh. you know. And this one was like, okay, this one was like an easier one, right? <laughs> yeah. Difficulty level one. That's one that it's like, for sure know it. Uh -huh. So great. That's it. Beautiful. I know tertiary, allylic. Yep, this is the best one, the most stable. Lovely. So if you like this practice problem and want to try another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire study session, click right here.